Hi, I'm Kate French and I'm a modern pentathlete. Um, I started in the pony club, so I've come from a riding background mainly. Um, riding since I was really little. I uh, did my first pony club attempt when I was five and shot zero. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was good. Um, and I also did some school spy athletics at primary school. Um, I think because my PE teacher knew I did um, like running, swimming, horse riding, and shooting with the pony club tets. Um, yeah, she got me involved in that. And yeah, I think the combination of, the, of both um, directed me to pentathlon. My dad also did pentathlon, so it was kind of in the radar that I, I knew about the sport. I did it with my sisters and we mainly started doing it because we were really intrigued about the riding. We just loved ponies and things. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give the strange horses a go. <laughs> <laughs> I really find it hard to pick which one I like best, which is probably why I picked five sports. <laughs> I just really like how they're very different. Like you kind of, need obviously the mindset's the same but a different approach for each one and yeah for like the running and swimming it's just about digging deep and giving everything whereas like shooting you have to be really calm and really focused fencing you have to be really focused but actually a bit like quite alive um and and then riding just have to read the horse <laughs> and hope for the best, but um, yeah, I just enjoy how they're all so different. Yeah, it's just really nice to have the girls' trainers, and I think this year we've really pushed each other on because um, there's been quite a few of us that have done so well. Um, I think I, th I think that's why we've done so well, to be honest, because. We've all been spurring each other on and seeing the others perform well. We're like, oh God, we need to perform well as well. And I think everyone's just come together a lot more because we've needed to help each other out so much more. And yeah, we've all had a common goal this year. So yeah, I think we've, in terms, yeah, compared to other years, I think there's been a lot stronger like team cohesion this year. Um, which has been really nice. Um, yeah, it's been going well, bar the, the, the break in, in the middle. Um, I qualified at the European Champs, so that was really good to be able to secure an early qualification for Tokyo. Um, and it, yeah, just makes it a lot easier and a bit less stressful, I think. Um, but then obviously we had COVID, so that was a, quite a big disruption um, in the whole process. Um, and I tried to keep fit as much as I could <laughs> um, and did a lot of cycling, which I really, really loved. And I think, yeah, since we've been back training, we've been really lucky to be able to kind of train through and not have lots of interruptions when there's been more lockdowns. So. But yeah, I can't complain with how it's gone this year, to be honest. <laughs> I've been really pleased with my performances. I think my heart was probably getting the world record in the fencing. I was really chuffed with that. Mainly because it was the first competition back and my fence hadn't gone well in the semi-final. Um, so to be able to turn it around so much, I was really pleased. Well, to be honest, Kelly Holmes is the one that I remember watching at Athens winning her medals. Like I definitely can remember watching that um, when I was younger. Um, and just thought that was incredible. Um, Steph Cook obviously winning gold. Um, and then Georgie Harland again, pentathlete, because she brought her medal to a Pony Club to Chapter once <laughs> and signed my rosette. Um, so that was really cool. Um, and yeah, just loads of athletes to be honest. I just I think any athlete that can get to the top and stay at the top and be so consistent is, yeah, very determined and, yeah, inspirational and, yeah, 
stop to be that. <laughs> yeah, it was a great feeling. Um, it's been a long wait for this one. Um, but yeah, I was very chuffed to be selected for my second Olympics. Rio was amazing. Uh, yeah, just a really incredible experience. That's yeah, a bit of a whirlwind to be honest. Um, it was hard to kind of take everything in um, because it is all so new and so much bigger to what pentath like being a pentathlete you're used to. Um, but I think having experienced it, I've got a lot more um, well experience, I guess, uh, going into Tokyo, um, and it shouldn't be as even though it'll be super super exciting still like I don't think it'll be as like mind-blowing <laughs> it's a real honor to represent Team GB um, especially like when everyone's wearing all the kit together it's really special um, and I think Team GB do such a good job of kind of making it special for us and bringing everyone together and um, hopefully I can do Team GB proud Mm-hmm. <laughs>